How's it? How's it? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be my February favorites. So I have just a few things here. Heads up, most of them are wet and wild because I've been loving their products this month and I actually could find a Walgreens that actually had the newer products. So let's just jump into the hair foundation that I've been wearing all month. Um, I took it to California with me, so I've kind of tested it in the humidity, and I also tested it here in Vegas in the dry. I'm very oily, um, so I'm surprised it actually held up pretty well. It is the Photo Focus. Um, I have two colors. I am Desert Beige and Golden Beige. I'm more of a yellow warm tone, so these two have been my favorite, and they're only $5.99. The next product I've been loving is the Mega Glow Contour Palette from Wet n Wild in Dolce de Leche and it is amazing. The color is not too orange. I'm also wearing it today. Um, this color is like a highlighter but it has no, it's a true matte. The bronzer is a little powdery as you can kind of see. There is some fallout. I have to kind of blow it off because it will go on to the lighter part. But other than that, it blends really well. You can use a lot, you can use a little. A little does go a long way, so use a very light hand with it. But I've been really, really loving this. The next Wet n Wild product, I know it's a lot of Wet n Wild, but I did warn you in the beginning, product that I've been loving is the Precious Petals Highlighter. I know a lot of people have been trying to get their hands on this highlighter. It looks like this. Very pretty, it has like an imprint of a flower on there. Very pretty. I'm actually wearing that as well on today and I've just been loving it. I actually use this with my next favorite, so I might as well do that. It is a fan brush from Morphe. It's the M61 fan brush. Looks like this, very tiny. It's not a huge fan brush and it has very flexible, but at the same time very, um, dense bristles. These two together make the perfect highlight. I like it because you can pack it on with this but at the same time use a very light hand and it kind of looks very natural. My last Wet n Wild product um, that I have been loving is their new gel polish. It's the One Step Wonder Gel. I have this one's in white, I have black, I have all types of color, I have teal but I have like a good amount of nail polish, OPI, um, to the 99 cents ones. This stays the longest on my nails. I've had these on for like a week and a half and I've only seen little minor chips and most of them is just me. These actually are very inexpensive and they're one of the best nail polishes I've actually wore. And when people tell me, oh, I like your nails and I'm like, oh, it's the wet and wild. They're like, really? And I'm like, yes, yeah, they're like four bucks. So if you guys see these in Walgreens, you guys should try them out. So my next favorite is going to be a brush from Morphe again, and it is the M523 brush. And it is a, I use this for my bronzer, it is dirty because I did use it today. If you turn it this way, it has more of a flat kind of brush. So if I go like this and I bronze my face, it's more of a flatter consistency where if it's too thin it's harder to blend out but it's just the right size to put into, into my cheek and then what I do is I is I use it to contour and then I flip it this way so it's a flatter and it's a wider tip and I blend it out. This has been one of my favorite brushes so far from Morphe. I have a few but this is one of my favorites. My next product is a kind of a random find that I found at Walmart like maybe in the ending of January and it is the Remel Waterproof Coal Kajal. Um, it's a coal eyeliner and I have two other colors. I have the purple shade and I have the green shade and I like them. They stay on my eyes and I have really watery eyes. And for some reason, I've been using this throughout the whole February. I have it on today. I actually like it because if I wear nude eyeliners, they look still harsh on my eyes. Most eyeliners that I use on my eyes besides the Marc Jacob ones will crease up on the side or it will eventually move to the corners because I do have watery lids. But this is like a taupe like not even it's like a grayish taupe color but when I put it on my eyes 
you can't even tell that it's there it's more of a nude color so i've been really really loving this and i, I don't know if i can find it anymore so my favorite eyelashes for the month has been the d wispies from nini's so they are tapered slightly from the front and they do move to the back a little more wisp I love them for the shape of my eye. I do have an almond shaped eye and I like it because most eyelashes, if I want a lot of volume or I want a lot of length, it ends up either touching the top where my eyebrows are or you won't be able to see them at all. So I found these like two years ago and I was keeping them hostage in my makeup collection because I was so afraid that I wouldn't either have them or I wouldn't be able to go back to Nini's until I end up going to California. I actually restocked them so I have like five more, six more that can last me for the next time we go back. So And the best thing about these eyelashes is they're like a dollar. And I also said in my um, haul, birthday haul video is that they were like I think 15 for 24 or like 20 or something but these are very inexpensive and they're good quality. My last beauty favorite is my makeup case. It's a little, so it looks like this. I got this from Sephora when they had their VIB sale. And this is the top. Normally, if you know me um, personally, I go crazy when I have to go on vacation or even if I stay over a friend's house for like a day I will take every piece of makeup I own because that's just something that I like to do I will have one purse with three little cases full of makeup and I can never seem to just get one makeup bag this time around when we went to California I took this along and surprisingly this is all I bought I actually stood up the they have like little, what are these called? Elastics, I would say. Like little elastics to hold your product down. So I actually had my Wet n Wild standing up in here next to each other so they weren't moving around, hitting each other. I had all my palettes nicely laid in here. And then I had my setting sprays in here and I also had a few lip balms. Um, I actually took a smaller mesh case that I bought a while ago and I lined, I put a few of my brushes that I usually use in there and I laid them flat right on here and I closed it up. It was very spacious but it was very compact to carry everything so I think this is my new favorite travel bag and I'm going to probably put this bad boy into a lot of use and it's cute and has a lot of glitters on it so and it's not all over my pants but this is a win for me and i also have two non-beauty favorites the first um snack i've been loving don't mind the ziploc but as you can see these are chocolate covered raisins so pretty much like raisinettes but they're just from costco or from sam's club so my husband loves these and i don't like raisinettes at all i don't like raisins i mean if i'm in the mood for them or i end up eating them in a cookie and I you know like them I'll eat them but it's not one of my favorite kind of candies to eat or anything to munch on but lately I've been like reaching for these I think it's the chocolate because I feel like the chocolate is really creamy these I've been actually loving and I think if you get them at Costco they're like eight bucks they're pretty inexpensive all right and so my next favorite is my water bottle I actually got this in Florida when we went to Disney World and I have been loving this water bottle. I know it's just a water bottle but um, I like it because it doesn't have a, a rubber spout I guess you could say. Easy to clean. Um, my lipstick doesn't stain it um, and I feel like because it's cute and it has a little handle makes me want to drink out of it more and it's disney there's a little zoom zooms on here and it's funny because a customer made a comment to me and was like oh did you um lose your water bottle and take your daughter's one and i looked at him and i was like no i bought that myself i love disney and he starts laughing and he's like oh my wife's the same way she uses her backpack as princesses and 
I was just like, oh, then why would you assume? But anyways. I am a Disney girl and I love this water bottle. All right, so I know this is a favorite video, but I'm gonna have to mention something that did not work out for me. And I feel like I gave this product a good amount um, for me to say I don't like it. I actually was using this for two months. I used it in the beginning of January and I just continued trying it out and using it with different products, with cream products, with dry products, with wet products. So it is the Real Technique Diamond um, Sponge or Beauty Blender. So it, it's supposed to, it's dirty. It's supposed to be a white marble look. It's a gray marble, but I mean, it's going to eventually get dirty. I should have not made it white, but I guess it was cute when it came in the package clean. But it looks like this. So do not mind. Sorry. So that does look like this color. But I feel like it's super like the fabric, I don't know what it is. Like I feel like it soaks up too much water and then as much as I try and wring it out, wring it out, I'll put it in between a towel into a t-shirt, it still does not, it actually gets worse as it's wet because I feel like it's super flimsy. Like I can like pat it on my face and I can feel my fingers. I can feel like my fingers holding onto it when I blend it out. And like the tip of it, it's like, my god it's like super flimsy especially when it's wet i i cannot i hate the texture of it so instead of it being too dense it's like too soft so a lot of times i catch myself when i try to use the pointer for my um to blend out my contour it doesn't blend anything at all it just kind of doesn't do anything it just kind of spreads my makeup more and it gets it makes it look more streaky or you can see the padding motions in my face and even if I try certain sections and I try to re read the instructions on what to use it for I just do not like this product I felt like it was a big fail for me so even though I had all those lovely products this was something unfortunately I could not um, say I love all right, so that was it for my February favorites. Thank you again for watching. All of my Instagram and Facebook will be linked below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Shoots!